Got another question here on the year 13 rates of reaction topic. So as always, the link to the question is in the description of the video. Okay, so first question, what's the overall order of the reaction? Well, the overall order is the sum of the individual orders. So we've got 2 plus 1 plus 2, so fifth overall. So just two reasons why it's unlikely that this reaction could take place in one step. So the first reason I've given is if you look at the rate equation, there are 2, 3, 4, 5 ions involved in the rate determinant step. Now it's very, very unlikely that all five of those ions are going to collide at the same time in the correct orientation. So there must be more than one step. The other reason is if you look again at the rate equation, we'll just use the I minus ion to illustrate this, but you could have talked about the H plus ions. The rate determinant step only involves two I minus ions, whereas in the overall equation, there are five. So there must be other iodide ions involved in other steps. You could have said exactly the same uh, reason for the H plus ions. It's two involved in the rate determinant step, but there's six in the overall equation. The two rate concentration graphs, so the IO3 minus ion, it's first order, so we need to draw a straight line graph, but it must start in the origin, and the H plus ion at second order, so we draw a curve, again it has to start in the origin. Part C, we've got to fill in the table first of all for these missing initial rates. So if we look at experiment two, the only thing that's changing is the concentration of I minus. What's happened to that? It's gone up threefold, but it's second order. So the rate will go up three squared. So it's going to go nine times higher. So nine times that. And for experiment three, you can see all three of the concentrations have actually increased by a factor of four. So the overall increase is going to be four squared times four times another four squared. So that's a 1024 fold increase. So we need to multiply that by 1024 which gives an initial rate for experiment three of 614.4. And moving on to the rate constant calculation. So I've rearranged the rate equation. So we get that over that. I'm going to use the values for row one because they gave us all of those. So to two significant figures, I'm getting 6.7 times 10 to the eight. Okay, so we'll have a look at the units next. Now, I think these have got to be the trickiest units I've ever seen in all the um, exam questions on rates that I've covered. So all I'm doing is putting the units of the terms in the K expression um, in. So we've got the unit of rate on the top and we've effectively got five lots of moles per decimeter cubed on the bottom, which gives us mole to the five dm to the minus 15. So now we cancel. So the moles per decimeter cubed on the top disappears. The mol to the 5 is going to drop to mol to the 4. And the dm to the minus 15 is going to drop to dm to the minus 12. And then all we do is take the denominator terms up to the top and flip their signs. So that's coming out at dm to the 12, mol to the minus 4, seconds to the minus 1. So well done if you got that bit right. So the last part's a bit of a curveball because they are dipping into um, acids chemistry. So they've switched the acid from uh, HCl to methanoic acid. So effectively they've gone from using a strong acid to a weak acid. And the, there's another clue that it's a weak acid is they've given us the pKa value. So we need to calculate the H plus concentration and then we can use that in the, um, in the rate equation to get the uh, initial rate. So to calculate the H plus concentration of a weak acid, I call it the square root of Kaha. So you can either work out the Ka value separately, 10 to the minus um, pKa, and then put it into the square root expression, or do what I've done is go straight in with it, 10 to the minus 3.75, multiplied by the original concentration of the weak acid, which is 0.02. So my H plus concentration is coming out at that. And then we just sub the numbers into the rate equation. So we get rate equals, but the K value won't change because this will have been done at the same temperature. 
the two other concentrations are the same as before for experiment one. The only difference is the H plus concentrations at this value we've just calculated. And that comes out at 5.38 times 10 to the minus 3.